What's up? Oh, me we're down here trying to do a little beam trapping. I broke it down just a while ago. I ain't got no hip waiter. Anyway, plan is try to get this drowning rig down in here. The beaver's got all this tents. This little old planted pine plantation, I guess you call it. Anyway, I'm gonna try to get these. Try to. It's always hard when you're just in your rubber boots. You know that, don't you? What happens? You just sink and you sink and you sink. Put that right there. Y'all seen y'all seen me do this plenty of times before. I don't know why I forgot this. Anyway, we got a plant pine pine plantation. They got this ditch and they getting they then got it way up yonder filled up to where uh where it's in the actual field. So, land on a call said, can you help me out? So we're gonna see if we can help him out a little bit. What I got is a drowning rig right here. Hopefully, the beaver gets caught. When the beaver gets caught, he's gonna go down. This old hag lot, lot won't you see. It'll slide down, but when he pulls on it, it won't go up. It's gotta be level. So hopefully that's what we're gonna we're gonna get that dude in there like it right there. But let me get this down first. And I'll show you what the top about. when you can't get out in there, you know what I mean? So we're gonna put it back, we're gonna go for that back foot catch. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we're gonna go for the front foot catch. I forgot. <laughs> you catch that front foot, he'll drown quicker. I can find a spot for it. Goes. Usually I'm catching on back foot if I got it on chain set. The way it's got more meat. Hope we can come up fish, but I'm actually gonna put one over there too. That way we catch two in here, maybe. We'll see. The battery dying on the phone, so might not get a whole lot of footage and stuff. But I'm back beaver trapping, boys. Get a little show real quick. Oh, oh, oh! You see? I can't stand up. There's a trap right in there somewhere. You can see the drowning rod right there. And I come over here, bust a little bit, got it. And there's a trap right there. So anyway, we got water running right here. Hopefully we're gonna catch them. It's kind of low down. We're gonna move up to the next dam. Set some more. You may not see me do them, but you got the idea of what we're trying to do. So any which way. Just keep trapping. Let's just keep trying. So I cut this dam right here. You can see the beavers got it dammed up right there. It's another dam. You can see where the, see where the water's flowing right there. That's where I'm gonna put the trap, just like the other one. But I wanna show you real quick. Can't walk, can't walk out right there. But this is, this is the bridge. This is, I don't know if you can see it in there or not, but that's the bridge. You can see. It's over the bridge. And usually, landowner said that this water is usually a foot or two below this. And you can see just how deep that is right there. 
and it's usually a foot or below, two foot below the bridge. So they get where they come across with the ranger four wheeler. So we're gonna put a trap in that levee. I mean, in, yeah, in that dam right there, and uh, see if we can't get some of this water off here, because this is where it's backing up. This four wheeler, see where all this backing up. All this should be dry. None of this, this is pines. None of this should be a wetland right here. So anyway, kind of know what we're going and why we're doing it. The landowner does not want his pine plantation. Whew, I'm just getting bit me through my shirt. Flooded due to beavers. So I'm here to eradicate them. You cannot legally in the state of Mississippi take these beavers and relocate them. Just before any of y'all ask. This is not an option. And why would you want to relocate an animal that does this to a piece of property to put it on somebody else's piece of property to do it to them? Other than the fact that in case you want to call me to get them from over there too. <laughs> so any which way, we will be knocking heads. Come on. We got something in there. Get down here in just a minute and figure out what we got. Hold on, you want to go down and go? Just pull it up the same way and then pull it out. Pull it up like you did the other one. In. Just walk on down there. That boy, I swear. Right up. There you go. Yeah. A little kit. Just drag it, turn around, drag it all the way back. And just, yeah, or do that. Most time, I just turn it around, and just drag them all uphill. Yeah. I got it. There you go. Well, pick it up. There you go. Woo! Talk about barely having him. What did he have him by? Uh -huh. Toes. Had him by them toes, dude, and just got him. If it had been a grown one, he probably would've got out. But hold him up there, son. A little young one. A little old kit, which means we gotta find the mom and daddy. Gotta find the mom and daddy, son. All right, we'll keep hammering, see if we can't find them. <sighs> Day one on the check. Maybe we'll catch some more. Maybe we won't. We'll see. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, we back down here on the beaver line. Uh, I had a beaver in this drowning set. Evidently, it must have got caught by the uh, the back foot because it was still swimming, but I had my 22 with me just in case. So I popped it in the head, gave it a minute. We're going to pull it up and see what happens. I got more 22 sitting right over here just in case I didn't make a good pop, but uh, any which way. Let's see what we pull up. If you hold that for me, baby. Make sure we don't cover the bottom. All right. Let's see what we're pulling out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just making sure before I got too far along. Oh, that was a front catch there, which really confused me. Is, that's, uh, that's a big one. Oh, I didn't pull this out of the water. That's what it was. This end right here had come out. So that's why that's why we kept seeing it way over here. Because that beaver kept ending up right here in the middle. It's like it didn't make no sense. What it was was this rod was coming over. So uh, anyway, we can't get her out real quick. I'll show you what we got here. That's a big beaver. That's a big beaver, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Big bone and wide tails. <laughs> <laughs> and we caught that little kit yesterday. And uh, you can tell this must be the female because she got them right there. So anyway, we're going to reset that. Go check the other ones we got. Maybe if we're lucky, we got another one. But main thing is get these old big ones, get the older ones out of here that know what's going on. 
And like I tell a lot of people a lot of times, we want to try to catch every one of them. But if we can catch the big male, big female, the little kids, they don't know what's going on. So they'll come out here, get eat up by a coyote, hawk, owl, or whatever. I don't know how to rebuild this stuff. So the main thing is get these old damn beaters. Damn beavers. Damn builders. <laughs> okay. Anyway, out of here, sir. Any which way? <laughs> All right. It's a beaver. All right, guys. As you can see, the beavers kind of see where they've been gnawing on, gnawing the trees down, gnawing the pines down. Like I said, coming here on this man's place and just gnawing them. Of course, oh, this is old right here. This is not the fresh, but that's a little more fresh right there. Anywho, oh, here's some more fresh. The baby just come out of that creek from behind me is where they're coming from. They come in here and just cut these old trees down, man. Like I said, it opens all this up. Then they dam up that ditch. You can't see that ditch up in there. You see that old briary grass right there? That's where that was. So, oh, where the ditch is. I just got done. I didn't catch anything today. And uh, the waters were still flowing and everything. But I'll show you. Oh, it is hot, you hear me? It's got to be close to 90 degrees today. <clears throat> so I'll show you real quick. I don't know if you can see that ditch in there or not. You can see right here, I had, it, I had all this underwater. So, got that back going, got the water back flowing on that spot right there. Got the water back flowing. The bridge is uh, starting to see the little four-wheeler bridge now. And uh, like I said, you can see that spot right there. Water's flowing there. And then uh, down there is where I caught that big mama beaver. So anyway, I busted a dam up there. Filling this up as well. Busted it here. Kept it, busted it lower. And then down there where I caught that big mama beaver. Got that busted. And uh, we'll give it another day and see how it works and then if not uh hopefully by this weekend it'll be dry enough to get a little excavator down here come in right down right there and then pull that out and uh get that water really flowing and down there by that bridge where the where the mama beaver was caught and uh that'll release a lot of water out of here and get it back to just this natural uh creek in here so any which way no catches today but we ain't done Got to pull traps tomorrow to go to another spot. Like I said, we just need to get that mama beaver. Once you catch that mama beaver, you know, I caught a little old kid over there. The rest of them can't figure out, and the male beaver will move on. Uh, in the times that I have trapped everything, a male's always, if he ain't got nothing to lay, lay down with, he's going to be chasing. So <laughs> he's going to move on. <laughs> so uh, you got to find it. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. All right, the water's below the bridge again. The water's still running. The beavers haven't been back. So I'm pulling traps. Got that Duke 650. Got them hags locks uh, right there. I'll try to put them in the description if I can remember. Uh, those slides down like that right there. Woo, they slide down. Beaver slide down. It can't come back up. Be locked in. But anyway, walk back over here. And uh, we'll see what else we got. Check the last drop. I mean, the last sets. And, uh, and uh, we'll talk to you here in just a minute, boys. Well, here we are on this last damn set. I'm fixing to pull these traps and uh, see if we can't do something else. Y'all just uh, listen to what I got to say or watch me work. It don't matter. <laughs> if you hold that for me. Watch the speaker. Go Now we didn't catch as many beavers as I was hoping to catch, but that's all right because on this situation right here, we uh we only got so much we only got so much property to trap. The beavers wasn't are not on this property; they just damming up this property. But the water's been moving for the last three or four days, and uh, hadn't caught anything else. I run a few caster mile sets on another uh, a few more spots. Still didn't hit on anything, so we're gonna get out of here. The water's still running. The landowner just needed to water down. They'll come in here and excavate it out. 
And also, if he has any more trouble, you know, we'll come back and help. But on this job, this wasn't a exterminate every beaver job, like I said, but we did catch that big mama. And when you catch the mama and the male ain't got nothing to lay up with, the kids don't know what to do, the house is just destroyed. So we did our part. But like I said, you can get these hag, uh, hag locks right here. As you see them on the drowner sets, things shoot down, a beaver shoot down, and then he just can't come back up. So uh, anyway, pretty cool deal there. And uh, those, you can get those fiberglass uh, rods as well from him. So any which way, we're done on this job, and uh, we're moving to the next one. So y'all stay tuned. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Make a little comment. Don't be rude, because i get you. Any which way, y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you.